good city. Now, how did you actually make the transition into pro wrestling? Were you a wrestling fan growing up, or? You know what? It's weird. I didn't watch it at all. Wow. I mean, I mean that in a bad way or a denigrating way at all towards wrestling. I just, I just didn't grow up in a family or a, an environment where we watch wrestling. My my dad was a, a, went to college on a, on a piano concert scholarship. My mom was a like a Mensa, like uh, academic scholarship, and my family was like, uh, you know, totally in and I sport. I was, I'm like the, uh, I was like the black sheep that I wouldn't want to do any sports. Right. You know, they thought that it was never on mind to anything. They're like, you know, huh. you want to do, you want to do what? Play football? My dad wouldn't even sign my uh, permission slip. I forged my, uh, but I football in high school, I, I forged my dad's problem. Right. <laughs> I didn't say this, but I forged my dad's signature to uh, play football in high school. And wow. He didn't know I was playing. <laughs> that's great. And my dad never went to one of my games. He, he, he had no interest in sports, and that's not a, oh, gee, I'm a bad dad. Just to, wasn't his thing. Right. And he thought it was a dead end street being involved in athletics and sports. You know, he thought, you know, education and music and art and that kind of thing was uh, a way to go. So, uh, um, yeah, I was, uh, I was the, uh, definitely the, uh, I have a brother and sister, but I was the only one who was involved in sports at all, wow. so. Now, what made you make the transition from football to wrestling? How, how, who approached you, or is it something that you came up with? You know, I, I, I watched um, my last year in football, I played in the USFL, and, uh, and it was in Memphis, which was a huge wrestling town. Right. That was my first exposure really to wrestling. To the Jarrett's product. Where people were like nuts about it. Right. All their whole other thing. And I was like, wow, these people are really into this. <laughs> and at the same time, um, they had that uh, that first huge uh, the Detroit uh, Silverdome, the Hogan uh, Andre yeah. the Giant match. Right, WrestleMania, WrestleMania three. 3. I was like, man, they. they they, they sold that place out because I, I was like, there must be something to this, huh. you know? And I always worked real hard in the weights and, and uh, was kind of, uh, they always call, called me the cyborg and the, and the you know, the uh, the uh, genetic freak huh. kind of thing. You know, everybody always teased me about that. So I was like, you know, I, all I did was to, I walked into an office at Championship Wrestling in Florida and uh, hooked up with a great guy who, uh, which, looking back on wrestling now, is so unusual, um, Hiro Matsuda. Right. Mm -hmm. Got it. Rest his soul. And uh, you usually, it's always, what's in it for me, you know, if I'm going to help you? It's usually a family member's in, or, a, or, or you got a contact, something. I didn't know anybody. Right. I walked into the office and said, I don't know if I'm be, I'd be any good at it at all. Um, I don't know anything about it. Um, I, might, I might not be able to do it, but um, I played football for seven years. I, I, my knees are still good, and I'm looking to make a, a career transition. And uh, I was actually thinking of going to law school wow. at Stetson. Huh. I was living in Tampa at the time. Right. And, uh, and uh, I, was, I was choosing between law school and uh, going from football and, uh, and the wrestling, and I chose wrestling. It turned out to be a, you know, a great, uh, great decision, you know. Well, I, but uh, I, I never watched it growing up. I mean, uh, I guess I'm making a short, short, uh, short story long, but I mean, I, I never watched it growing up. I well, really didn't, but not because right. I didn't like it. I just wasn't exposed to it. Right.